Hi honeybees! Today I'm going to be doing a huge, I mean huge, collective haul for you and it's going to include some new spring clothing, some new makeup, some things from my P.O. box sent to me from companies, from PR companies. So I'm really excited to show you all the new goodies. So make sure to go grab yourself a snack and maybe a drink because it's going to be a long one. Alright, so first thing is from a little boutique here in Arizona. I'm not sure if these are everywhere, but it's called Lizard Thicket. And it's a cute little boutique here in Arizona. It's next to Anthropology. And Mama Bee actually, my mom, if you don't know who Mama Bee is, got me these few items for Valentine's because she's just the sweetest. So first of all, isn't this so nice? They gave you like a really nice canvas kind of bag. Um, so first she got me these really cute earrings. And this outfit that I'm going to show you all goes together. She's so awesome at like getting things that go so well. So these are so kind of like boho earrings that have some kind of Aztec pattern it looks like almost on the silver balls here, little silver plates. And then on the bottom are these really pretty dangly blue gemstones. Oh, I love these. They're so pretty and they're nice and lightweight so they won't pull down my ears. Then she got me this really cute crop top boho kind of top and it has detail in the center here like rope crisscross detail and then the sleeves do bell out. I think this is so feminine and beautiful. I love the pattern, love the soft blue and all the little details. It does kind of cinch in right here with a little keyhole. It's so, so pretty and feminine. I actually wore this in my Vitacost haul this week, so if you want to see how it looks on me. She also got me this really cute piece. It's so soft and it has ruffles all the way down it. It's just like a little, like a vest kind of shirt and you can put it on the top of another shirt like this one is what she intended but you could really pair it with anything it's a little bit longer and again really really feminine the ruffles go all the way around next piece I purchased at Nordstrom Rack it was on an amazing amazing deal this is by the brand Glamorous this is in a small so it's a bit snug on me but I've been trying to be better and I've already lost five pounds this week, so I'm hoping that I'll fit into this by next fall. And I mean, it fits me, but it's a little snug, but it's so beautiful. Look at this. It's a long kind of trench jacket, completely open. There's no buttons. I think it is so classic looking, and it's just so me. I'm sure you guys are going to feel the same. I got this for only $20. It was on clearance, and it was originally $88. So I absolutely love this and I can't wait to wear it. This next really beautiful dress is from a uh, online Amazon brand. I will link their name right here because I know I'm going to butcher it. But they have some really cute pieces. This was my favorite piece from the whole site and I they had it contacted me and I was like, I think that's so beautiful. I definitely want to try it. So the crisscross here is in the front which I think is such a fun detail. And it's just a real long flowy dress that would look super cute with leggings and boots. I say that all the time. Does kind of have a little bit more of a belled out sleeve and I think the floral pattern is absolutely beautiful. It's by the brand Mia Geek. And I did get this in an extra large but I feel I probably could have gotten a large but with this kind of flowy dress you, you can, you know, rock it out even when it's a little more baggy. So definitely love it. The next two pieces are from online site as well called She Inside. And I know a couple people here on YouTube have been talking about them and for good reason. Their clothing is good quality but really inexpensive and they always have some really good sales and deals going on. Um, so they sent me these two pieces and I'm like really wanting to purchase some more from them because I've really enjoyed these so far. So the first piece here is in an extra large and thank goodness I got an extra large because it's one of those fabrics that don't give at all. Um, so if I hadn't got this size my boobs would have been suffocating. But it's just a really nice olive color. I call this a work shirt in my opinion because I just think it's very professional yet chic looking. It has, it's a little longer in the back and it's just very flowy and pretty and it is um, kind of more of a three quarter of a sleeve. It's not all the way down to my wrists when I wear this and you can also pin it up. There's like a little button here but I think that's super cute. It is more of a sheer fabric though so I do need to wear a cami inside of this when I wear it and then this one. You guys are gonna die over this. It's so cute. So I got this little sweater. 
that has this cute girl with her eyelashes on and her pink lips. And it's just a really soft, cozy sweater, but it's not a heavy material. So you can definitely wear this in the springtime, especially if you live in a regular climate, not Arizona. It's 90 degrees here today and it's February. But I think it's super, super cute. I've only worn it inside the house so far because it's been pretty warm out, but if anything, I'll wear it again next fall, but I absolutely love the little girl on it. <laughs> Isn't she cute? All right, now we're getting into the makeup goodies. So first thing is the Kylie Lip Kits. I did purchase these with my own money. I've done a full review on all three new shades, but I wanted to just quickly mention it in this haul, just in case you haven't seen, that I did get Mary Jo K, Coco K, and what's this last one called again? Posy K. And then I do have the Candy K, this is my, probably my most worn still. It's just such a beautiful nude. So I did get those and I'm really excited to continue to play with them even more. But like I said, I do have a review video up and I'll link it down below. I did also get the sweetest Valentine package from Too Faced. If you follow me on Snapchat or you follow my vlogs, then you already would have seen this cute little guy. This little guy's name is Clover and he's mirrored after the brand creator's dog. And I just think he's so cute. And when Harley, my puppy, he's not a puppy anymore. He's six years old, but I still call him a puppy. When my dog saw this, he thought it was for him. <laughs> but isn't it so cute? And then they also sent this cute little heart box and inside was the Better Than Sex Mascara, which is one of my all-time favorite mascaras lately. I really, really love it. Continue to use that. And then a cute little card that says, you are gorgeous. And then it has, this is a red, violets are blue. Look, it has clover on the front again too. Hey, I just rhymed. Here's a clover to snuggle and mind-blowing lashes just for you. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> Cutest thing ever. Thank you so much to Too Faced. They just nail the packaging every time. Next is from L'Oreal. I like got so excited when I saw that L'Oreal sent me a goodie package. First of all, such cute packaging. And inside is the Lumi Cushion Foundation in three different shades. And as you guys know, hopefully I did already review this foundation in my drugstore reviews. So I'll link that down below for you as well. But I do really enjoy this foundation. I didn't think I was going to because I'm not usually a luminous foundation kind of gal. But I really did like this and the packaging is rose gold. How can you not like that? Um, but yeah, they gave me the shades N3.5, N5.5, and C5.5, which are a bit darker than I am now, but maybe if I start self-tanning again, I'll make those work. Another one that nails the packaging is Pacifica. Look at this gorgeous box. I use these beautiful boxes that they send me in my makeup room, and they come in really big handy. But this is, like I said, from Pacifica, and they gave me a few little goodies. The first thing is the Coco Pure Makeup Removing Wipes, and this is like a little travel pack. I had two different sets that came out, I believe for Valentine's Day. Look at the beautiful packaging. Isn't that so pretty? So inside this one is the Tuscan Blood Orange Hand Cream and the Indian Coconut Nectar Hand Cream. Both of those are my two favorite scents from Pacifica, so I was super pumped when I saw that. And this is their Daydreamer Roll-On Trio, and it has three of their roll-on perfumes in the scents Indian Coconut Nectar, Tuscan Blood Orange, and Tahitian Gardenia. I'll definitely have to put one of these in the giveaway that's coming up. I'm probably gonna try and film that next week, so be on the lookout. It'll include some NYX things and some of the products from Gen Beauty, and maybe one or two of these things. And I also just wanna mention that Pacifica is also a more natural brand and a cruelty-free brand, so if you're really into that, I would definitely try their stuff because they all work really well and they smell really good. This was actually about a month ago. I picked this up online and Again, I can't remember the website's name, but it was a discount fragrance website, and it was a really great discount at the time. And I got this for like 20 bucks or less, possibly. It's the Pink Sugar perfume from Aqualina, and I did get the 1.7 ounce. This, people say that this is kind of like a stripper scent, <laughs> or just like a really young, really, really sweet scent. Ugh, it just smells like cotton candy but it lasts longer than like a little body splash would. And I love the bottle. And I just started dating again, and guys love the scent. Every time I wear this, they're like, oh my God, it smells so good. Like they love sweet scents. So yeah, I added that back to my collection. I've gone through one or two of these. 
before. The next thing is actually from Pure Cosmetics, and I do believe I've mentioned this in my vlog. And they gave me all of their Cameo Contour Sticks. And it comes with a little sponge like this, which I'm not a fan of. I'm just gonna lay it out there. It's not my cup of tea. It's too dense. It's like those ones you get at TJ Maxx that are supposed to be dupes for the Beauty Blender. They're totally not. And then the stick comes like this. It has a highlight on one side and a bronzer on the other side. And of course, I am in the light shade, but I have a bunch of other shades. So I definitely will put one or two in the giveaway so you guys can try them out too. I don't love this, I don't hate it. I feel like the bronzer is it was really nice, at least in the light formula. It blended out really well. It's a little bit orange for my taste though for contour. And then the highlight side was a really good shade for me. Um, it was just, it was okay. I didn't love it. So I can't say that I would run out, have you run out and purchase it right away, but it's like decent enough to give it a try if you were thinking about it. Next little package is from Vita Liberata. Can I just say they are such a generous brand. They are always sending me more tanning stuff and I feel horrible because I haven't been self tanning and I really need to get with it. But these products are the self tanning night moisture mask, which I might have one of these already. So I think I'll put that in the giveaway too possibly. And then this is a self tanning gradual lotion. I believe this is new or I just have never tried it before. So I'm really interested in this because this is a little less high maintenance than having to do the whole shebang and put the mousse everywhere. So I definitely will try that out. I also got another box from Influencer. It's from YSL, East St. Laurent. And I was really excited about these. I ended up getting one of their new Touche Clot neutralizers. And I have really enjoyed it so far. Mine is in the peach shade, or excuse me, the apricot bisque shade, number one. Look at this beautiful packaging. It has like a peachy, glowy packaging. That's so pretty. And it's just like a brush tip applicator. So you can just easily brush it on, pat it. It's supposed to like brighten and neutralize any discoloration under the eye. And this one is more of a brightening. They have a green one, which is more for like redness correcting. And the purple, I forget what the purple is for. I think to help with yellowing areas of the skin. Pretty sure that is correct. But anyone can get influencer boxes sent to them. You just have to sign up, so I'll leave that down below for you guys. You just have to do like surveys and have your social media standing on there, and then you get some awesome free goodies like this. So definitely enjoying this if you were curious. This is one of the most exciting things I've gotten sent recently was from Lancome, and oh my gosh, I love Lancome, and I was so excited to get this package. They gave me this Beautiful little folder too with all the information about each product they sent, which I thought was so professional and I love that because I want to have all the details for you guys. This thing is this perfume in La Vie Estebelle or Estebelle. I want to say Esta like in Spanish, but I think it's French. <laughs> Anyways, it's an Eau de Perfume, again from Lancome, it's one fluid ounce, has rose gold packaging and it's sparkly on the front here. I'm not sure you'll be able to tell. That just got me right away. But the perfume, I smelled this many a time working at Sephora and it smells so good. It's probably the only Lancome perfume that I have really taken a liking to. And I think the packaging is so beautiful. The bottle is very elegant. It has this beautiful little silvery gray tie there. And, ugh. Oh. It's sweet, but very womanly still. It has a great staying power, I've noticed. And let me tell you, I believe I have the notes in here. So it says, it entwines the elegant of iris with the strength of patchouli and the sweetness of praline. So see, it does have that like richness to it. And the floral notes are sandbok, jasmine, and tunison, orange blossom. Tunison? I think that's how you say that, orange blossom. So it does have that florally sweetness, but because of the patchouli and the iris, I think, it just makes it a little bit deeper and more womanly. It's so beautiful. So if you guys want to try it, I, sh I suggest going to the Lancome counter or going to Sephora and just like, you know, spray it and see if you like it because it's really nice. Perfect for spring. They also sent me a bunch of new lippies. So they do have some new matte lip crayons out and they sent me two shades. This is Number 320, Partner in Crime. 
which seems to be like a bright pink. This is like, oh bam, that is a summer color. It went on really, really smooth and I have tried on the other color and they stay really, really well. This one is Contain Yourself, number 110. And this is just a really fun kind of orange, orange red shade. So there, is it? it is right there. Really pretty. And they glide on so easily and I like that they're in a pencil form because it you don't even need to use a liner if you don't want to. So those are really, really nice. And they have some nude shades too. They just sent me two bright, fun ones for spring, summer. The next ones, I'm not sure if these are new or not or they just sent me some fun new lippies, but look at this packaging. So nice. This is the La Absolute Rouge Definition Lipstick in number 195. It doesn't say if there is a name. So it's just number 195 and it's a gorgeous deep red. Look at that pigment, that is so pretty. Oh, I, have, I don't have very many Lancome lipsticks so I'm very excited to try those for you guys. Next one is also from the same line and it's in the shade number 285. And this is more of like that rosy, pinky nude that I, it's not really nude. It's more of like a rose shade. Really pretty. This is like one of my go-to kind of shades. They do have a kind of perfumey scent, which I'm not too happy about. <laughs> but other than that, they're really nice. Next one, also from the same line, is in shade number 388. And this is a little bit more of a brighter pink. Oh yeah, that's like a Barbie bright pink. I know Summer would love that one. These next three are from the color design line. This one is 128 Inconspicuous and it's a matte. And this is what the bullet looks like. It does have the Lancome Rose on the top there, or on the bottom, excuse me. This is a gorgeous matte nude. <gasps> oh my gosh, this is so my kind of color. Look at that. It's like a really nice brownie. Nude. Next is Afraid Not, number 382. It is also a matte. And that is more of like a darker, ooh, burgundy color. Look at that. I need to break that out before winter is gone. And last but not least is also from the color design line. It's called number 342 Racy, and it is also a matte. This is another fun pink shade. Ooh, but it has a little bit more red in it. Similar. It's a little more similar to that first pencil I swatched. So those are all so fun, a great variety to try. So thank you so much to Lancome. And thank you guys so much for watching. That's it for this haul. I'll see you guys again real soon. Don't forget to like the video if you like hauls and comment down below. I love you so much and I'll see you again soon. Bye.